I am Jeremy and I'm your host of Tell Me Wine TV where we try to answer your questions about wine right here on the internet and today's question was sent in from Kevin from Banksville who asked about alcohol and wine. What does it mean and how does it affect me? Blah blah blah. So I mean people ask these questions are very general and first I'm going to talk about why alcohol exists in wine. And alcohol exists in wine because sugar combines with yeast and alcohol is a byproduct of the yeast, the active yeast consuming the sugar. And it creates this wonderful thing called alcohol. And in this case it's called ethyl alcohol or ethanol. And uh, this is the only alcohol you want to drink. Any of those other ones, you die. So stick with this one, CH3, CH2O2. Quite a bit of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen put together perfectly by God himself to get you where you want to go. But, uh, but um, the interesting thing, well, the thing about alcohol and wine is it varies. Not all wine has the same amount of alcohol in it. Um, for example, uh, this uh, Braccetto uh, from Italy. Uh, it's a sparkling red wine, only has 5.5% alcohol in it. Uh, German wines tend to be lower in alcohol. Here's a Riesling uh, from Hulk, and it only has 10% alcohol in it. Here's a Cab Franc from the Loire, uh, Claude Cordelier, 12% uh, alcohol. And here's one of those big monsters from Australia, uh, a Shiraz, or is it Shiraz? It's Cabernet from Wix Estate, and this has a whopping 15% alcohol in it. So it has literally three times the alcohol as our Braccetto friend. That's a big difference. Now, of course, you know, alcohol plays into the style of the wine itself. But, but uh, whereas, you know, I expect these Shirazes from Australia and maybe some California Cabernets to have a lot of alcohol on it. Historically, it's, it's, really, it's really in the hands of the winemaker. Uh, you're not going to find a 15.5% Riesling from Germany, a 15.5% alcohol level uh, Riesling from Germany. It's just not going to happen. Um, and because um, alcohol can be controlled in the winemaking process, it, you know, it's really up to the winemaker. So he can, I guess, feed the yeast more sugar, so it creates more alcohol, or contain the amount of sugar that the yeast eats. In my opinion, a wine is better when the alcohol level is lower, because it allows you to taste the juice itself. It allows you to taste the grape, it tastes the terroir. Alcohol can mask a lot of things. And you've probably heard me on other shows, I say I can, I can smell how hot it is. And I'm smelling the alcohol, the fumes that are rising up out of the glass before the rest of the aroma. And it really gets in the way. So, so be conscious of, you know, alcohol and wine. Of course, you know, because it makes you drunk. But, but, but it, it, it also, you know, affects the, um, the, the experience. Now, keep in mind one other thing. Uh, in America, at least, uh, because all of this labeling is uh, controlled and dictated by the federal government. The federal government allows winemakers to place a percentage of alcohol on the label that might not necessarily be accurate to the amount of alcohol actually in the bottle. And the variance is one and a half percent. That's a lot of alcohol. You know, especially when it's lower. So a 10% alcohol wine, like this Riesling, may in fact have 11.5%. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a 15% increase in the amount of alcohol in your glass of wine. And when you got a guy like this, Wicks Estate, and it says 15%, it may in fact have 16.5%. So th th you're on your way to booze at that point. That's a lot of alcohol. 
And 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 again, a lot of people get into it. You know, excuse me, the big swing in you know what's down at Wall Street. I think they like the big alcoholic wines. You know, it's hearty, it's big, it's burly, it's all this other stuff. But you know, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. You know, so so it's it's in the winemaker's hands to control it. Again, there are some historical issues like this Brochetto. Uh, Often, I think you're going to find these kind of sweet, sparkling wines have less alcohol. Germany, less alcohol. Twelve and a half percent is a, is a good place to be, I think, for the amount of alcohol because it allows you to taste the wine itself. And then, you know, I've seen wines that are as much as eighteen percent. Try them, but you know, just try them to try them. Uh, you'll you'll be shocked as to uh, you know you're you're tasting booze at that point. But anyway. You know, alcohol and wine, drink in moderation. Who's the question? Kevin. Thanks, Kevin, for sending your question in and keep sending your questions in too. Tell me why, TV.